Hi folks, Kind of Vaping here back again with another review, but again this is not a vape related review or a vape product review. This is more a review of a product that you could use to either run your YouTube channel itself for whatever, vaping or whatever niche, or if you do have maybe a vape shop or business, you could probably use it for that. Because today we are looking at the Beeful Laminator. Check it out. Right, so here we are looking in the box of the Beeful GS382 Thermal Laminator. And this is how it comes. I'll pop the tops out. Got the top open. Message there and enrich our lives. And this is basically how you present it with the box. So what you get is a little card here, return policy here, all that stuff's there. Like that, you get your little hole puncher. You also get what we've got here, your corner cutter, which is there. You get all your laminate pouches, uh, various sizes, quite a few of them there. So you get all them, then do that. And then we'll get this open. Also some uh, that look like banger clips, perhaps. Not sure, but there you go. And finally we'll lift the actual machine out. Here. The machine itself. Just uh, plunk that down there. We'll have a look at that in a minute. And also, just as well, you get like a, an instruction manual um, with technical data and stuff and basic instructions how to use it. They're not detailed, but they're basic. So, we'll ship this box out to me over here in a minute. And we'll have a look at the person in question. And here it is. Beeful laminator. I'll leave it's like a touch screen here with your power button. There's like a digital display which has, you know, shows you warming up. This is your cutting, your cutter, where you can cut your, your papers or your projects before you do so. Um, you have, well, there's an ABS button on the back for any jams. So you release your jams. Um, I believe the whole tray will just drop out or does it? I don't know. Possibly. No, I don't. Just just need to get it and jam it. Um, on the front here, you've got all your paper sizes, a guide, so your A6s will go in between these lines and your A5s. And your... So I like that, it's like a guide there. So, what we'll do, we'll get it switched on, get it warmed up, and we'll do a bit of laminating now. Yeah? Back in a tick. Right, I've just trimmed a couple of bits and bobs off here and um, off the internet just to give you an idea of what we're going to do with the, the cutter. You know, you cut out, you know, you can put your, your paper there. You know, it's, that's the beauty of this, it's got the cutter included so you can kind of like put everything together, get your cutting blade, go back our line, and you can trim off all the edges. Get it all ready before you uh, actually laminate it. Again, we'll go about here, slide that blade back. You've got little notches here on either side so you can line your paper up. Press down, slide along, job done, cut. That's kind of your paper, cut the size ready for a printing. Again, we've got something similar here. Just kind of line it up where you want it. Roughly around about there should take me. Just slide the blade back, press down, push along, cut. There's your top piece off. Rattle this round. Get this where you want it. Again, just slide it back, press it down, push. There you go, there's another cut done. Again, just line up. I'm just doing this roughly for the speed nut. There you go, you can actually cut your. Your bits to size. Make it a little bit more better. 
you want your corner cutter here, which you can just whip that in there, if you bear with us, just slide that in there, slide this bit in there, and I missed. Okay. Slide that bit in there. Quite a nice little gadget this thing. It just tidies everything up for you. Slide that one in there. That rounds your corners off just nicely. We'll do the same with this one. You know, a bit flimsy for us. I'm trying to hold it in midair while I show you, but you know, we're getting there. Slide it in. Tuck your corner under. Slide it in. Tuck your corner under. Slide it in. Tuck your corner under that one. There you go. There's the corners done on that one. Again, this has got a little catcher here to catch all your stuff. If you want to punch a hole in it, you want a hole puncher here. Um, I'll just show you for demonstration. Stick a hole in the corner there. So if I want to hang it up, I'm just lying up it. There you go. There's a hole in the corner, and again it catches the cuttings in the bottom. So, that's these two little fellas. And you can use this cutter and them to trim it up when it's actually got the laminate on. So, what we'll do, plug this fella in. See there, lights up there, off. If we touch it, just, just a touch screen. See, it's starting to warm up there now. In the temperature screen there, it's warming up. I'll shift some of this shit and I'll get a couple of pouches ready, yeah? Right guys, as you can see we're back, the machine is now warmed up to temperature and it's now going to on. Maybe a little buzzy noise, but it's, it's okay, it's doable. What you have here is your pouch. Which you need to... Open up, I can get the thing to open up. Pulls apart like so. This is what you do, you want to get your whatever you're going to laminate in nice and evenly spread. Again, you put it like so. That's not straight, so hang on. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm not good. Tell I haven't done this for a while, don't you? As you just, I need both, they're nice and straight. Nice and flat, so you kind of get your pouch there. Doesn't matter with overhang, there it goes there. I'm going to feed the joint end in first. So what I do, this is A4. You line that up with your A4 markings on the front. Just push it in, you feel it get a bite. And there you go. That's now pulling that through and doing a hot laminate on it. Make sure you've got plenty of room at the back um, for it to come out, obviously. That's just sliding that through nicely now. See, it's coming over there now nicely. Piece of paper here, yeah. so we'll do the same. I'm going to do with a smaller thing here, um, smaller wallet. I need really to get apart, like I must admit, like I can't understand why this is. I need to get apart just because I've got more nails. Again, put the item somewhere near an edge or in the middle, where you want to do it. Get it pushed up to the joint if you can. Again, there you go, I've got this one ready. Larger pouch. This one here is the A6, so again, you just get the A6 notches, line it up on the notches, then just feed it in, you see it just gets a bite. You don't have to force it, it just gets a bite, and away it goes. Again, just tattle through there, near no bother.
you once you've let these cool, you know, don't do them well. Give them a, give them a little spell to cool off, or the glue to, to go hard, like so. Just put that to the side. So you know that little cut, guys. Back you died. We get a general idea what that does. Um, uh, it's, it does what exactly what it says on the tin, basically. So you kind of grumble. The only thing I don't like about it is this. It, it's flimsy. It's very flimsy. You know, and um, there's there's no way, and there's no obvious way of removing it, and to, i.e. replace the cutting blade because it will go blunt eventually. And, you know, there's no way of removing this at all. You know, without you know maybe damaging it. There's no, there's no obvious way um, to do it. So. Is that the only gripe with it really is this thing on the top? I mean, it is. It's, it's, you can see it, it's flimsy. You know, it's, you know, and then obviously, you're not being able to get it off straight away, like obviously, if you've got any cuttings trapped under there, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit awkward to get the, the cuttings out. Also, the ruler, if you look, you've got to stop here, and your ruler goes there, so when you put something up like that, Against that stop, you lose your ruler. You lose your ruler. Your ruler should have been down here, in line with that stop. As soon as you put something up it, you lose your, your rulers down there. There's your sizes, but you've got to stop there. So when you put up the stop, you're covering up your sizes if you want to measure. So the ruler should have been down there on either side. Um, that's the only gripe for the guys. I mean, you know, this thing at the top, you know, the print should have went to the stops. And this should have been removable, you know, for cleaning. Um, and you know how you want to change the blade, and that I don't know. Um, I really don't know. I mean, you know, you can you can pull it apart and all that stuff, but you know, it's 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 a bit very flimsy for me. I mean, if, if they improve the rule, that would be meant. If, you know, that's that's where I'm at with it. Um, otherwise. It does what it says on the tin, guys, and um, use it forever you will, you know. I think, you know, probably as a YouTube channel maker, well, what would you use it for? Apart from, you know, maybe just doing little flies like that. Um, as a shop owner, a vape shop owner, you know, you use it for these posters, um, you know, the age verification posters, mint for a shop. Um, but as a hobbyist YouTube creator, you could probably do a bit of stationery with it, but you know, probably more suited to a crafter than a vapor, in my humble opinion. There you have it, guys. That was the Beefle Laminator. Till the next time, I'll see you all very soon. Cheers now.